Hello everybody, the Quiet Atheist here yet again with another very interesting video for you guys today. But before we go even further, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank another individual subscriber for providing me with the article that I'm going to be discussing in this video. This particular article is equally disgusting because it again talks about individuals who basically support faith healing and I am completely against that because these individuals, these Christian individuals I might add, know nothing of morality and they never will know anything as far as morality is concerned because they are too fixated on this alleged fact, if you will, that a sky phantom is somehow going to come down from the sky and heal people in regards to them having sicknesses and to me this is a very sick and twisted way of thinking and unfortunately in this country there are a lot of innocent people that have to pay for this type of thinking and hopefully one day it will be outlawed and that's basically how I feel before I go even further as usual I wanted to let you guys know that this particular article in question will be provided in the description down below for everyone to take a look at of course but for now I wanted to go over a little bit of this article with you guys so that you guys can become more aware of this particular douchebag that I'm going to be talking about in this video. The story is basically the same about faith healing like I did about the videos with Michaela Salt. You know, it's another faith healing issue that is very serious to me and I take offense to people who think this way who think that it's necessary to subject people to dangerous situations and more importantly I think that it is incredibly immoral to place a child in a dangerous situation like this but these individuals really don't care because they are only concerned with this religion of theirs you know I have said this many times before you know they often look through a toilet paper roll and they don't pay attention to what's around them because they're too fixated on this fairy tale and this book full of nonsense it's not even funny anymore their behavior is ridiculous their morality is ridiculous their whole position on life is completely ridiculous and it seems to me that a lot of them are just living to die basically and that is how pathetic they are to me with that said let's get back to the article that I wanted to share with you guys this lady is a Republican from Idaho and she goes by the name of Christy Perry Here's a little entry in this article that I wanted to share with you guys, and it's another type of entry that really shows how much of a douchebag this woman is. An Idaho Republican said a proposed ban on faith healing would violate the religious rights of her constituents, many of whom eschew medical care for themselves and their families. Now, like I said before, you know, one of the things that disturbs me the most is the fact that a lot of religious people out there basically say that we are violating their religious rights. We are not allowing them to practice their religion. And that is simply not the case. You know, I have said this many times before that they are within their right to practice their religion, but the moment that they put other people at risk because of their religion, it has to stop. I've said this many times before when I said that there has to be a line that has to be drawn. They have to stop at some point. Because if they don't, prime examples like Michaela Salt will happen again. And it's something that should never happen. It doesn't have to happen. But this woman actually had the audacity to defend faith healing. She says that basically she doesn't have a problem with people going to their maker, if you will, going to their God, if you will, and that's why she believes in faith healing. In other words, she doesn't uh, have a problem with people dying. She doesn't have a problem with people getting sicker. She doesn't have a problem with people suffering a misfortune of some type. And it's something that really, really disgusts me. These type of people and their way of thinking are a problem in society. And I actually can't help but feel an overwhelming amount of anger for this woman. To me, she doesn't deserve a platform to speak off of. She doesn't deserve any kind of seat of power in any way, shape, or form. Especially with the thinking that she has within her own mind. It is completely ridiculous. And this is the type of thinking that is going to push society back into nothing. 
And that's something that I do not want in any way, shape, or form. I think that these individuals who believe in faith healing are some of the most immoral individuals that I have ever come across, you know. And in all actuality, I think that Christianity, unfortunately, plays a significant role in this type of thinking because for over 2,000 years now, people have been fed this illusion of a sky phantom healing people from being blind, from being sick, from being crippled, so on and so forth. And it is rather ridiculous, especially when none of these things can be verified. And it's something that people are gullible enough to continue to believe, and it's a problem in this country. It is a problem that needs to be stopped, plain and simple. This woman basically needs to shut her mouth, and she needs to stop what she is doing, because she has no ground to stand on with any of her religious positions, and she will never have any ground to stand on. And that is what I feel about this particular situation. So please feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Reddit, Yahoo, wherever you guys hang out. Till next time, the Quiet Atheist does it out. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you for watching. And I will see you next video, and hopefully I will find more articles like this because I felt motivated to share this one with you. And I want to feel motivated to bring more of these phony assholes out into the open for everyone to see so that everybody can become more aware of their nonsense that they are trying to spread in society. It must stop. It must stop now. Sooner rather than later. So till next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye.